Good morning, everybody. Uh, you guys have been waiting for some content on diesel oils, and I sent a bunch of diesel oils out. I'm waiting on one of the diesel oils to finish, but for some reason it's been taking abnormally long compared to the rest of the diesel oils. So I'm going to give you some of what I got right now. So let's jump into some of it and let's look at these some of these oil analysis tests that we had done. Pretty interesting. This here is an old oil, Wolf's Head Extreme 15W40. You can see that it's got 56 parts per million molly. And then once we get closer to the bottom here, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, and zinc are all pretty standard. They're on the lower value for a diesel oil, but what strikes me is the molly. Most diesel oils don't have any kind of like molly additive, but this one does. And the TBN is pretty decent as well. I find that the wolf set looks pretty interesting overall because they give you a molly additive or most diesel oils you won't see that they have it in there but their magnesium and their calcium and stuff that uh dispersant detergent uh, just isn't as high as most diesel oils to keep that engine running long term so do i think it's pretty cool that they have molly in there absolutely uh and it's pretty cool that um you know it's got a decent tbn and maybe it's a 5,000 mile oil and no more sure if you got some of that stuff and you want to run it great It'll give you something in molly wise that most of the other diesel oils won't give you But it's not a good oil long term This is Shell Rotella T5 10W30 a lot of guys like to run this and their super duties They're six sevens year round really doesn't have anything in it when it comes to molly or titanium or anything like that so that protectant is not there we do got 183 parts per million boron, 2113 calcium, 13 magnesium, phosphorus is 997, zinc is 1067. Decent phosphorus and zinc there in the detergent pack is pretty high, and it's got a TBN of 7.6. Now looking at this diesel oil, it doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty good, and it's also not a 10,000 mile formula though. I think this oil should be changed out by max especially because of the capacity the diesel guys run by about 6,500, 7,500 miles. Uh, seems like a decent oil, and a lot of guys find it very, very popular. But at the same time, I would recommend being very careful of running it long term. Uh, 6,500, 7,500 miles or maybe 150 max, 200 engine hours, and that's it. Don't run this any longer than that. That's what I personally would recommend. Decent oil, though. So, Show Rotella T6 5W40. Pretty decent oil overall. Uh, this It has no molly in it, no titanium. You'll find a lot of diesel oils don't have molly or titanium or some kind of additive there to help protect. It's all in the detergent pack, in the ZDDP pack. 201 boron, 2187 calcium, Magnesium is 92, phosphorus is 1087, zinc is 1203, and it has a TBN of 8.6, let's see here, got this going too slow, 8.6, so decent TBN. Again, this is a really decent oil, uh, I'm going to have to stick with about max 7500 mile range on uh, how far you can run it. Um, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't do any more than 6,500 over 150 to 2,000 engine hours. And that's as, as far as I would go with this oil. But overall, it looks like decent oil had a four, I think a 430 flash point and, uh, plenty of detergent packed there. I, I would just love to see some more Molly in these, but you really don't get that too much. Some of them have it, some of them don't. So it is what it is moving forward. Motocraft 5W40 doesn't have any molly in it, no titanium, nothing like that, no silver. What we are seeing is 148 boron, it's got 1283 calcium, 691 magnesium, phosphorus is 1000, 1082 zinc. I like the fact they added some magnesium here, but it's got a low TBN of 6.6. Uh, 
I like the fact that they put some magnesium in this one. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, it's a dispersant detergent as well, and it couldn't, it, it can help create less low speed pre ignition. Um, if Motocraft didn't intend it to be there, they wouldn't put it there, but they had it put in there for a reason, right? So I like to see some of that in there in the oils that I look at, and it had it. What I was concerned with is the low TBN and the ability for you to run it long term and still continue to fight the acidity and stuff that builds up in diesel engines. So this oil would be a short OCI oil for me. I'd probably only run it about 5,000 miles or 150 engine hours and no more than that. It is a severe duty oil anyway. Typically when you're running this, it's either extremely cold outside and you're plowing or you're towing stuff all the time. So yeah. That's uh that's it for today's video. Tomorrow's video, I'm going to pick up on the rest of the oils that we tested. And uh, you're going to see an oil that stands out. That's not a full synthetic oil. And it has a better additive package than all of the oils we're looking at. Stay tuned. Be blessed.